you get the fiddle block, I like to store it with the blocks together. That way the lines don't get all tangled up. There's a um, front and a back, a back end. Hooks on your porter wrap. Front end, you know it's the front end because it's got these jaws on it. Alright, so once you get it hooked on there, you can go ahead and stretch it all the way out. Make sure your lines aren't crossed up. Here's my test line on my tree I'm pulling. I'm just going to put this friction hitch on. Get a bunch of good wraps on there. And then just take your top couple turns and unwind them sort of down on top of each other. Alright, and there you go. You're ready to pull. Taking the slack out. And you can see I got my lines crossed up here. So it's important to point out these jaws. If you pull in line with them, the jaws will work. They'll, they'll capture the rope. If you pull at an angle like this and you let go of the rope, it's just going to go slack. So make sure you pull in line. Okay, and that's basically a five to one. One, two, three, four, five one and that'll work for most applications but uh, um, I can show you in a little bit how to set this up into a 10 to 1 but I also wanted to show you how to do what's called a reset so if you're pulling a whole lot and these blocks will get closer together as you pull eventually they'll touch and if you want to keep pulling you got to do what's called a reset so for the sake of argument let's pretend like these two blocks all the way together Take your pull rope, attach it to your quarter wrap. What you normally do is put a bunch of wraps on there, and lock it off. Okay. And now, keeping your hands free of this. These jaws, if you release it here, it's going to suck your hand right into those jaws. So keep some space out there, release it. And now the load has been transferred from the fiddle block to the quarter wrap. And you can reset this thing by pulling it all the way back out. Okay? So now I want to show you how to set this up to a 5 to 1, from a, from a, excuse me, from a 5 to 1 to a 10 to 1. Gonna take some slack out here so I have some work. So yeah, I can only do a little more than that. Okay, so if you want to change this from a five to one to a ten to one, you basically gotta put a two to one onto this line that you're pulling. So one way to do it is to tie an alpine butterfly. You can also put an inline figure eight. You can put another friction hitch on there, whatever you want to do. And then using, I'm just using a tail here. But you, if you've got another piece of rope, you can do that too. But you're going to anchor one end of it to the tree. The other end is going to come. To this point of attachment. And here I'm just using two, two carabiners. I'm going to have these opposed. Just for fun. I like two carabiners and instead of one you got to a better bend radius. Um, you can also put a block there or a pulley if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be bomber. So, and then basically you're creating a, because this is moving, you're creating, here's a 2 to 1 on top of a 5 to 1, which will give you a 10 to 1. And so 
obviously you'll need to keep resetting this, retime the knot, or if you had a friction hitch, keep sliding it up. But that's how you uh, convert this from a 5 to 1 to a 10 to 1. Anyway, dude, I hope that helps. Call me if you got any questions. Talk to you later.